Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Lutzer here, and today we're gonna be building this um, Southern Pacific was an AC 44 CW. That was requested by a guy on one of my YouTube videos, so here it is. Let's get into the video. So first, what we want to do is here. Let me find a track to place it on. Here we go. Right here. So first, what we want to do is place two hoppers, skip a block, two hoppers, skip a block, just like this. And then do it on the other side too, just like this. And then we want to put cobblestone walls in front of the hoppers, just like this. There we go. And then put stone brick slabs in between them, just like this. So it looks like this. And then next we want to make a 2x5 with gray concrete, just like this. Like right in front of the trucks right here. Get a good look at that. And then next we're going to come one block out and make a 2 by 3 with it again. So it's like this. Then put a stone stair right there and a gray concrete on top. Make the stumber stair upside down. Just like that. And then next we have to make the steps to get up to the train. So get quartz slabs and place them like this. There you go. So it's just like that. And then next we're going to make the gas tank. So you want to start from here and basically go to the end of the trucks from it. Like this. Like this. Place gray concrete. Make it three blocks wide. This one actually is a really, I think I got it pretty detailed. It might be one of my favorite look motives that I've done so far. Right here you want to place a stomach slab right here. <coughs> And then you want to get some gray concrete and place nine blocks down on the rail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like that. Do the same on this side. And there you go. So then you want to get stumbert stairs and place them upside down along the whole thing. Then you want to get gray concrete, place one block right there, and then three blocks of stumbert stairs right there. And that's for like the air tanks that they have on the the gas tank sit. I think it's a better design for instead of using slabs like this. I think I like this better. So yeah. Then place gray concrete right there and then three more submerged stairs. And then gray concrete. Then do the same on this side. And there we go. Gray concrete, stairs, gray concrete, stairs, and gray concrete. And there we go. That's it for the gas tank. So hopefully you have it looking like this. And then next we want to fill this part in right here, three blocks wide, just like this, and there you go. Next we're going to make the second set of trucks. So you'll place two hoppers right next to the gas tank right there, skip a block, place two, skip a block, place two, just like this. Same on this side. And there you go. And then put cobblestone walls in front of each hopper. There we go. Then put stone brick slabs in between them. There we go. So hopefully you got it looking like that. And then also you want to fill this in with gray concrete. Have it stick out two from the end right here. Actually three. Make it stick out three like that. But only in the middle row. So it ends right here on the outsides. There we go. And then that's going to make a... 2x5 with some gray concrete, just like this, and then come one, bo one block out and make the 2x3. Just the same as the front. Same exact thing. Then make the stairs. There we go. Now it's day time. Yay. Or, well, it was our day, but now it's brighter. Hooray. And then next we're going to make the runways, so white quartz and all that. So you want to get a quartz stair, place one right there upside down, and then get quartz slabs, go all the way down to the gas tank, and then continue it throughout the other side, just like this. An upside down quartz stair. And do the same thing on this side. Continue it through, just like this. And then quartz stair. And then... Actually, no, that's it for the bottom part of the train, like the chassis is what you want to call it. 
So next, we're going to work on the nose and cab. So first, what you want to do is place a, like, you want to get red, red terracotta and place it like this, so it's kind of like a fork. Then put white concrete in between there, and then put red terracotta on top of it. Then you want to put acacia wood stairs facing outwards like this. So it's like that. Then you also want to continue with your red terracotta, make a 2x2 two two with it right here, just like that. Do the same on the other side. Then put two blocks of gray concrete on top and fill it in right here. But actually break, break those two right there, we're going to place a stumbert slab right there. And then get gray carpet and put it on top of that right there. So there you go. <coughs> And then next you want to grab a piece of bedrock, place it right there, and then skip a block, place one right there. And then do the same on this side. There you go. Then basically you want to go make it gray concrete to this right here. So it's like a, like that, two by three of gray concrete, just like that. Then next we're going to make the windshield, so place two blocks of black stained glass right there. Put a gray concrete in between it like that. And then get a black stained glass pane, place it right there, and then black stained glass right there. Just like that. And then next what we're going to do is we're going to place a 1x3 of gray concrete on top of the glass right there. And then go back two blocks, so it's like a 3x3, three three, just like this. Then you want to place stomach stairs along the side of it right there. There we go. That's it for the cab. And then over here on this side, you want to make it come out four blocks with gray concrete. So one, two, three, four, just like that. And then next, also on this side, you want to get gray concrete and come have it come out one, two, three, four, for three layers, just like this. Just like that, I think. Yep. There we go. Then next, basically, you want to fill the whole thing in all the way down. So go ahead and do that. But right here at the end, you want to place a red terracotta and go five blocks up with it. So one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. But actually break the fifth one at the top. Or you don't, or you don't need that there. And then fill the rest in. There we go. And also you want to put it right here too. There we go. And keep filling it in. Keep doing it. Almost done. There we go. Now we'll do the other side. Place the uh, oh, place the red right here, four bots up, just like that. Keep going all the way down and back. And why is that sheep in the ground? What the heck? That's weird. And keep going. Last row. Here we go. There we go. Well, actually, I'm going to fill this in right here, too. There you go. And then next, we want to come place a 2x3 of gray concrete right there. And then this part's kind of weird. You want to get some shulker boxes, gray shulker boxes. But you want to place a gray concrete right here and make it like a 1x3 on top. And place the gray shulker boxes upside down right there. And then break that. It's kind of weird, but yeah. Do the same on this side. There we go. No, oh, I don't want to break it. There we go. And then fill it in with gray concrete. Put gray carpet on top. No, I don't want to open them. There we go. And then also you want to place gray concrete right there and place a bedrock right there. And then place gray concrete again. And then next we want to place some stone brick slabs. So go down one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Same on the other side. And then place one right here, skip a block, place two, skip a block, place one, just like that. Put gray concrete to fill them in like that. 
And right there, you want to place right here. You want to place an anvil right there for the exhaust. And then on this side, you want to place a dark oak fence gate for the horn, just like that. And there we go. And then next, right here, you want to fill in the middle with gray concrete till right here. And also on the end right here, you want to go five bots up with the red concrete, just like that. And then next we're going to make the big radiator right there. So you want to get a stone brick stair, place it like this. Do the same on this side. There we go. Then you want to get stone brick slabs and place them along the stairs, just like this. And then more under those slabs, just like this. And there you go. Do the same on this side. There we go. Just like that. Oh, and actually, right here, you want to break four of them and get nether brick stairs and place them right there. Nether brick stairs. Place four of them upside down right there. Same on this side. And there you go. And then right here, you want to place, like, you want to make it so it looks like that. So we come one block from the edge where this red is, break two, place two bedrocks, skip a block, skip a block like that, then do it again. There we go. Just like that. Do the same on this side. There we go. That's it for like all the radiators and fans, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. And then next we want to grab some white concrete and we're going to make the Southern Pacific logo just like that. So first what you want to do is place like where this on top, like the top part of this little radiator right here, place two white concretes like that. Then you want to go up one block and place three of them, or no, four, just like this. And then place two under it just like this. So it looks like that. And then we're going to do the same on the other side, but it's like flipped. So you'll see. So you want to place two like this. One, two, three, four. And then two right here. So it's flipped. And there we go. Oh, and also I forgot to put this there, but you want to put gray carpet on top of the bedrock right there. Yeah. And then next is the part that no one really likes. We got to put on the handrails. Yep. So first what we're going to do is we're going to start at the front with the, the front end, I guess. I don't know. So first what you want to do is grab some birch fence. Place one right here. Two like that. So they look like this. like So the conductors cannot get onto the train easily. Do that on both sides. Just like that. And then you want to place string right there. Like this. And then another brick fence like that. And then on top of the nether brick fence, you want to place a stone slab and then one under them like that. So it looks like this. And that's like the chain that kind of goes down. Like a, I like that feature a lot. And then just place gray carpet. And do the same on the back side right here. And there we go. Place the slabs. And then the carpet. There we go. And then next we're going to do the hand railings along the side of the train. So first you want to start in this corner right here. And every other block you want to place one. So there's one there. So every other block just like this. Then on this part you want to go all the way up with it. Like with the nether brick fence. Then just keep skipping blocks right here. And then put string in between each one just like this. There we go, and then put gray carpet on top of each one, just like this. There we go, and then on top of here also. There you go. Then we'll do the same on this side. Start in the corner and every other block. And then put string in between each one. There we go. 
We're going to skip this block right there. We're going to put another brick stair right there. So I'm going to grab that another brick stair and place it right there. And there we go. And then next we have to make some banners for the train. So you want to grab a red banner, I think. Or, no, you want to grab a gray banner. Or I don't know. Just grab both banners, really. But you want to grab some gray dye and some red dye and a crafting table. So place your crafting table down and get your gray banner, place it in the middle right there, and then get rose red dye and place it under it so it's got stripe on the bottom and then in the middle also and then on top just like that. Then that's what we're going to do is you're going to get the rose red dye again and place the banner in the middle and then make it so it's like this. Just like that. And then we're going to do that but it's like opposite. It's the stripe is on the other side. So you want to do the same thing almost. Place on bottom, middle, and top. Then you want to place the little diagonal thing on this side. Just like that. Also, we need to make the regular stripes, so just do that real quick. And there we go. So let's go place those. So you want to place um, this one right here, so it's like this. And then the, gray, the other one like that. And do it on this side, so it looks like this. And there we go. And then next, last thing that we have to do is we just gotta place the couplers. So you wanna put a stone birch slab right there, then trip our huts around it. And do it on the back side too. And there we go, folks. That is it. Or no, 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 no. We gotta add the iron frames and the lights. So you wanna place two iron frames right here with white stained glass in them like that. And then an iron frame right there too then make the ditch lights on the front just like that and now it is done so thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and leave a like and as always i'll see you on the next one peace